Hey y'all, Corey here from Grow Ensemble, and in this video, you're going to learn about seven of the world's most environmentally friendly and sustainable companies. One of these companies has gone even so far as to set the bold and ambitious goal to plant 1 billion trees across the globe by the year 2030. And coming up, you're going to learn exactly who that company is, as well as get six other examples of sustainable brands who are truly in business to save our home planet. Let's dive in. So first, we have Tentry. As Tentry's CEO, Derek Emsley, told me on our podcast, Tentry is a tree planting company that just so happens to as well sell apparel. Since their founding in 2012, Tentry has already planted over 50 million trees. And as mentioned in the top of this video, they've as well set the ambitious goal of planting 1 billion trees all across the globe by the year 2030. Tentry selectively chooses to partner with charitable organizations to execute on these tree planting programs. And they've made the commitment themselves to regularly visit the sites of these tree planting projects to make sure that the local communities in which they're taking place are benefiting in a variety of ways, economically as well as environmentally. As a result of Tentry's practices and commitments to transparency, millions of trees have been successfully planted in countries all across the world, spanning Canada, Indonesia, Senegal, Peru, Madagascar, and many more. And of course, Tentry is committed to sustainably producing their apparel line. They're wanting to push the standards of the fashion industry by using sustainable materials like organic cotton, hemp, recycled polyester, and tinsel. And yes, you may have put it together already with their name, but Ten Tree plants 10 trees for every item purchased through their store so that they can make everyday change more accessible to all of us. Second on our list, we have Patagonia, but we may have not been surprised by this one. For their nearly 50 years in business, Patagonia has been on the cutting edge of what it means to be a sustainable and environmentally friendly company. And as Patagonia proudly and explicitly states, they are in business to save our home planet. For the last 35 years, Patagonia has pledged 1% of their total sales to the conservation of our natural environment. And it was this practice that led Yvonne Chouinard, Patagonia's founder, to co-found the 1% for the Planet Alliance, which we ourselves here at Grow Ensemble are a part of. So other businesses too can make this meaningful consistent contribution to environmental protection. And now Patagonia is approaching $90 million in contributions to international and national grassroots environmental organizations. You may even remember that, that Patagonia was behind suing a former president in 2017 to preserve national monuments. Patagonia has diligently reviewed, assessed, and improved the sustainability of their supply chains. And now a lion's share of the materials that they use in their products are either recycled or grown organically. They even have the goal to become completely carbon neutral by 2025. And Patagonia really is the way that it is because of its founder, Yvonne Chouinard. And so if you haven't yet, highly recommend reading Let My People Go Surfing by Yvonne himself for a little more of the background behind Patagonia's environmental and social philosophies. And third on our list, we have Allbirds. So while Allbirds is already a completely carbon neutral shoe and apparel company, they've as well set the goal to be a completely zero carbon company. And so while companies can claim carbon neutrality, that typically means that they are just offsetting what sort of carbon emissions they can't reduce just yet with carbon credits, some sort of carbon capture programming. But Allbirds is wanting to take that a step further. Allbirds wants to commit to emitting no carbon in the first place. And I, I do think that they're on track to get there. They've committed to complete transparency when it comes to, to their own carbon emissions. And like nutritional facts at the grocery store, Allbirds has began to label their products, their, their shoes, with the amount of carbon that was emitted to produce that product in the first place. So you as the uh, customer and buyer knows very well what the environmental impact of the product you purchased was. Allbirds has also recently invested in a plant leather producer who can make an alternative to traditionally manufactured leather and synthetically manufactured leather that is of course vegan, but as well has 40 times smaller the associated carbon footprint. So Allbirds shoes are wildly comfortable, but as well, it turns out wildly sustainable. Fourth on our list, we have Aspiration. 
Did you know that the four biggest banks in the US on average lend over $240 billion of their customers' money to fund fossil fuel projects each year? At the same time, every $1,000 that you transfer to Aspiration has the same climate saving impact as reducing the amount of miles driven per car by 6,000 each year. Why? Well, Aspiration is an online financial institution that offers spending, saving, and investing options that allow you to put your money where your values are. If you open up an Aspiration account as opposed to an account with a, a traditionally big bank, you can get back up to 5 to 10% cash with socially conscious spending. You can save over $300 a year with a pay what you feel is fair model. You can as well drive your car without worrying about harming the planet as Aspiration offsets the carbon dioxide from every single gallon of gas that you purchase. That's if you open up an Aspiration Plus account. But of course, most importantly, you can feel confident that your money and where you're putting it is not continuing to fuel the climate crisis, but rather it's actively trying to stop it. Because Aspiration is not only not going to, to invest or, or lend your, your money to fossil fuel projects, quite a novel idea, but Aspiration is going to use your money strategically to help us avert climate catastrophe. And number five on our list, we have Grove Collaborative. So the Grove Collaborative was founded to help make finding natural and more sustainable home goods much easier. Their marketplace does a really good job of doing just that. As well, Grove is the world's first plastic neutral retailer. This means that for every ounce of plastic that you receive from Grove, they divert the same amount of plastic from hitting the ocean with their partners at Plastic Bank. And plastic neutrality is not the end of the road for Grove. They actually have the goal to become completely plastic free by 2025. Yes, this is an ambitious goal. And over the next few years, Grove plans to remove every bit of plastic from every single product that they make and sell. And it doesn't stop and end at just plastic. Grove is as well involved in plenty of projects as it relates to reforestation, as well as reducing their own carbon footprint. And of course, yes, their, their marketplace does make it much easier to find natural, sustainable, and cleaner home goods than their traditional counterparts. And number six on our list, we have A Good Company. A Good Company was founded in 2019 with the mission of transforming mindless consumption into conscious decisions. And since their founding, they've expanded their product line to cover all sorts of everyday climate positive goods. A Good Company calls their products climate positive because one, they attempt to offset all the carbon that is emitted from the production process of the product that you purchase using carbon capture programs like tree planting. But as well, for every single product, a good company wants to make sure that because of that purchase, more carbon is captured than was originally emitted. They want every single product to be carbon negative. For example, their waterproof stone notebook which I usually have by my side here is the world's first climate positive notebook. Because of the stone paper material, there's no wasted water, there's no wasted trees, and they don't use any harmful chemicals in the production process. And their mobile cases are made in Sweden as a byproduct of organic linseed farming. And then the best part when you're done with that mobile case is that you can either send it back to a good company so they can break it down and use the material for a new phone case for someone else. Or as well, you could just toss it in your garden because the way in which it's made, it will ultimately just biodegrade. A good company is also extremely transparent of the how and where their products are made. And you can see for yourself at agood.com by taking a virtual interactive tour using their map of where all their factories are located and where they source their materials. We also had the wonderful pleasure of hosting a campaign during the 2020 holiday shopping season with the folks at a good company on conscious consumption. I highly recommend checking that out. And number seven on our list, we have Avocado Green Mattress. Avocado Green Mattress has stated that they are on a mission to become the world's most sustainable brand. And I really think that they are in competition for that, that acclaimed title. Avocado's mattresses might just be the most sustainable or eco-friendly mattresses on the planet. 
They don't use toxic chemicals. Their factories are powered by renewable energy and are as well on their way to becoming completely zero waste. They've raised and cared for their own flock of sheep, over 200,000 sheep. They grow their own natural latex. They're certified organic by the Global Organic Textile Standards, and they're carbon negative. Best part is that they claim that they've just begun on their journey of taking serious sustainability and climate action. Avocado, like many of these other companies on this list, is a certified B Corporation, a 1% for the planet business member, and as well a certified climate neutral company. Each of these companies is setting the standard for what it actually means to be a sustainable business and what it truly can look like if they are to use their businesses as a force for good in the fight to save our home planet. To learn more about any one of these companies, check out the links in the description below. As well, if you wanna to continue to get more examples of other truly environmentally friendly and sustainable companies like these, go to growensemble.com or as well, find the link in the description below. That's where we share our complete list. And if you liked this video, please subscribe to this channel to learn more about sustainable business and social and environmental impact. And lastly, I'd love to hear from you. Are there any companies that you believe are truly prioritizing the planet as well as their profits? Let me know with a comment below.